It's the Vegas Voice Scams, Schemes, and Senior Safety. Everything you need to know to avoid becoming a target of elder scams. Now, here's your host, the publisher of the Vegas Voice, Dan Roberts. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Vegas Voice segment of Scams, Schemes, and Senior Safety. I'm your host, Dan Roberts. And our goal is to inform you of all the bad stuff that surrounds our lives when we answer the telephone or reply to emails. As we start a new year, I thought it best to look back and see what scams work to separate you from your money. Contrary to what you might have heard, according to the Federal Trade Commission, adults under 60, you know the ones, the Generation X and Generation Z people, were more likely to report losing money than us seniors. Interestingly, most of these scams were on social media and their median reported fraud loss was $500. However, for the greatest generation and the baby boomers, while less likely to report the fraud, it's sad to say these reported losses were higher. The loss was $800 among people in their 70s and jumped to $1,500 for people over 80. Seniors were more likely to lose money to so-called tech support scammers or that prize sweepstake and lottery scams. And about 25% of these scams started with a phone call. How can that be? Haven't they seen our Vegas Voice scam videos? So once again, how do you protect yourself and your bank account? Remember our Vegas Voice senior scam number one rule and rules two, three, four, and five. Never, never, never send out your personal information. That includes your date of birth, social security, Medicare, and bank account numbers. And if anyone demands payment by means of a gift card, Western Union money transfer, or even cryptocurrency, it's a 100% guaranteed scam. Always, always, always. So what do you do when you get that email or phone call? Take a deep breath, listen to your brain, and delete, delete, delete that email. And if your telephone rings and you don't recognize the caller, hang up the phone, hang up the phone, and hang up the phone. We'll have more scams in future segments. Until then, this is Dan Roberts, hoping that everyone stays safe, be smart, and to always slam those scams.